sprint speed test results. Hey guys, today I thought I'd share with you some sprint speed test results. I'm gonna do this a little different this time. I'm gonna share the results with the upfront and you can continue to watch the video if you wanna see the test run and listen to me talk, I guess. So you'll see that uh, for the download speeds, they were between 25 and 28 megabits per second. And then for the upload speeds, between 2.5 megabits per second and 3.66 megabits per second. Now the ping times, though they're not shown here, were between 24 and 30 milliseconds. So let's talk about these download speeds. Well, they're certainly not the best download speeds I've ever seen, but they clearly are LTE speeds. Now the upload speeds, well, they're not that good. Fortunately, when you're using your smartphone, most of what you're doing is uh, downloading files. If you're doing things like posting videos to YouTube or say if you're using Hotspot on your phone, say connecting your, your laptop to your phone with Hotspot and you're trying to upload files to file sharing services, to Dropbox or to Google Docs, whatever, then obviously you would want to see faster upload speed. Now, while these speeds are okay and they're perfectly usable, uh, a couple things I'll tell you about Sprint. Well, I've been using it for four months now, and the biggest problem is just the uh, unpredictability of the signal and the speeds on the network. So frequently just moving around town in my local area, I'll see the phone drop from LTE to 3G to 1X and, and then go back. And you're never really without service for a long time. But just every so often you take your phone out of your pocket, you go to look something up or uh, just do something on the Internet and it's not look, it's not working. And then you look up at the status bar and you see you have a 3G connection or a 1X connection. Then you have to wait a couple of minutes for the service to come back. Or sometimes what I do is just toggle airplane mode on and off and then I get an LTE connection again. So I don't know why the service is so spotty or so intermittent. But that is definitely one thing I notice compared to the other wireless services that I have reviewed. I suspect it's just the quality of the Sprint network in my area. Uh, the coverage on the Sprint network may be different in your area, so everybody's results will vary. Now, Sprint is the number four network in the U.S., and it's trying to merge with T-Mobile right now. So... Definitely, this is probably the worst service that I've seen in terms of consistency in my area, cutting in, cutting out the AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon network. Uh, I have not had this bad a problem with any of those networks like I have with Sprint. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I switched to Sprint on a promotion where you'd get unlimited talk, text, and data for free. So I'm trying it out for a year to see whether or not I like it. So here are the results. Now, one thing I wanted to add was the best speed, the best test I saw was 105 megabits per second back in June. I was shopping at the uh, outlet mall, the premium outlet mall with my wife. Well, she was shopping and I was running speed tests. So that's the best speed I've seen on Sprint so far. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you next time.